Well, I'm Darvin Fry. Uh, I'm the owner at Badger Motor Car Company um, at 336 North Spring Street right here in Columbus, Wisconsin. Um, the building was uh, originally erected in 1920 by uh, Carl Ebisch. Upon walking in, I knew immediately that this is, was where we were going to do what we were going to do. From the newspaper articles, it's pretty well known that I'm a, I'm a recovering alcoholic. And uh, my uncle had stopped in just to say hi with his wife. And he had just uh, jokingly said it would be really cool to serve beer in here. And it, it kind of planted a seed that that was kind of a neat idea. And in the middle of September, we tapped our first keg of beer. And uh, the first couple days was a little difficult. Uh, the smell of beer, I hadn't smelled it for a lot of years. I'm 10 years sober now, and it's, uh, alcoholism is something that never leaves you. It's always right there in the back of your brain, and, and anything can kind of trigger a relapse if you're not careful. Um, the problem area seemed to disappear. It didn't, it didn't bother me anymore. Um, and I was able to just pour beers and serve beers without the, without it. Like it was just the initial smell of it. Um, and so then we pursued our liquor license, which we got. Um, and so now we're a full fledged bar in the middle of a museum, basically. <laughs> well, my first passion is, is, is art and antiques, but beer adds foot traffic. They, they, surprisingly go hand in hand and after I thought about it a little while you know it didn't it didn't surprise me as much because people tend to get nostalgic when they drink they talk about old times they talk about things they've done years ago and um, so you know what we're doing is basically creating conversation pieces for them to say wow I remember that and you know rather than have TVs um, we give something to trigger their memories I, you know, I, I just, from doing this the last few months and from the last several years, it, I just, I just hope that really that in some way I can inspire, even if it's not other alcoholics, other drug addicts, other people with problems to just dig deep inside themselves and realize that we've all got a, a gift of some kind or a, or something that we can contribute to society. And I, I think that's getting lost. And, uh, you know, this happens to be something that I'm good at, but I, you know, I, I would never make a great dentist and uh, you know we're, we're all cut out for something and I think it's important that we each look for that within ourselves. So.